In the last Space Week, on December 11th, I showed the SpaceX launch from earlier that same day of iSpace Hakuto-R Mission 1, a robotic lunar lander from Japan. I wanted to give an update on its status. Shortly after launch, iSpace established communications with the lander. The next day, they established a stable altitude, verified that the lander's core systems had no errors, and confirmed that the power supply was working. Uh, though I haven't found specific information about the lander's power source, I presume that it uses an RTG, or a radioisotope thermoelectric generator. This would allow it to generate power even during the moon's 13 and a half days of darkness. Two days later, uh, iSpace published the spacecraft's first images, such as this one of a crescent Earth backlit by the sun, taken 19 hours after launch. The out-of-focus component in the lower right is a plate containing the Hakuro, Hakuro R partner logos. This image was taken by iSpace's camera and transmitted directly to iSpace Mission Control. One of their corporate goals is to provide not just customer payload transport to the moon, but data transfer as well. This dramatic image is from the Canadensis Lunar Imaging System from Canada, one of the mission payloads, about two minutes after the spacecraft separated from the Falcon 9 upper stage. The upper stage is visible in the lower right. If you zoom in. The ring framing the shot are parts of the spacecraft that surround the camera, because of course it has a wide angle lens. Here you can see where the two cameras are located on the spacecraft. The Canadensis camera is kind of tucked under that gold-covered arm on the left side. Three and a half <clears throat> days after launch, Hakuto-R passed the lunar orbital path for the first time. However, it's far from reaching its goal. Four days after launch, the spacecraft completed its first orbital control maneuver, fine-tuning its course toward the moon. And that's actually the last update we got from iSpace, but it is in the midst of its uh, month-long coast phase out to its, uh, its apogee. And uh, looking ahead, Hakuto-R will reach its, its farthest point from Earth of 550,000 kilometers, around January 20th. It will then spend two to three months swinging slowly back toward the Earth-Moon system, thanks to Earth's gravitational pull. Once it crosses the lunar orbital path again, it will fire its thruster to precisely line it up with the Moon. Four and a half months after launch, it will land and release its two rovers, one from Japan and the other from the UAE.